back. This is Professor Jim Caffey, and this is Chapter 5 on Radiation and Spectra. We can look at our sun in ultraviolet light. James Clark Maxwell unified the rules governing electricity and magnetism into one theory. We can make waves such as these in a pool of water. We can describe waves as how high or how low they go, the crest or the trough or valley, and how big they are by wavelength, how long they are. We can talk about light in what is known as the inverse square law. And what this says is, is that if you double the distance to an object, you take that number, square it, so say we get something, we double it, one fourth, two squared is one fourth, put the inverse of that. If you triple the distance, it's one ninth. 9 squares versus the 1. So that light will only be one night as bright when the object is three times further away. The Earth's atmosphere blocks a lot of radiation. And so here on the ground we get radio waves. We can get visible light through a optical window through the atmosphere. But infrared X-ray, gamma rays, these do not come through our atmosphere. And so they require space-borne telescopes. This is a map in the X-ray sky. We can describe radiation laws. This is known as Fiend's Law. Fiend's Law. And this says that if an object is red it's going to have a cool temperature and be faint if it is blue or white it's going to be a very hot temperature and be a lot brighter a prism can break up white light into a rainbow and we call that rainbow a continuous spectrum In a continuous spectrum, white light passes through a prism and all colors are dispersed. The visible spectra of the sun shows many areas of dark lines. These dark lines represent what the star is made up of on its surface and in its atmosphere. And so we can see what the sun is made up of by these dark lines absorption lines. Now within dark lines we can also have emission lines. So the bright lines are called emission lines. A water droplet can act as a prism to create a rainbow. Niels Bohr and Max Planck described how the atom would uh, behave under certain conditions. In the Bohr model for hydrogen, you have shells outside of the nucleus. And in these shells, you can only have certain energies come in or go out. Depending on the amount of energy used to get in or out would determine what spectral features, those dark and bright lines, we see.
In a bright line spectra, you have the emission lines. In a dark line spectra, you have the absorption lines. And it is this that is about 80 to 90 percent of all astronomy is the continuous spectrum with dark lines or an absorption line spectrum. We can talk about the Doppler effect. Doppler effect is a blue shift towards the observer or a red shift when away from the observer. We see this and we hear this with sirens from the police or an ambulance or a fire truck. And that's it for chapter 5. Well, did you enjoy that episode of 10 Minute Astronomy? If so, check out all the other videos in that playlist for 10 Minute Astronomy and other videos on my channel. And then hit the subscribe button right there. Thanks.